kaputt! Noch voll! Burning to you as you got 700 knots on the deck. Copy, turning back. Cap safe, question mark. Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're back on with our monstrous coffee campaign and we are now in day 12 so we're really um it's the longest campaign we've done so far i think which is very good and our most popular uh so what happened last time we had a bit of a mare we tried to bomb a couple of oil rigs failed miserably uh, we did take out the harriers did okay they took out uh, an sa11 site i think or damaged it at least uh, so that's what we managed uh, but with bad losses uh, to fill you in what's happened over the last 24 hours i'll pass over to coffee from reds uh, so yeah, even though the air war didn't really go all that well yesterday, the ground guys were doing pretty well actually. They overran a weakened SA-3 and SA-6 site and took it out, but I think they've been watching Grim Reaper's videos or something and they blew absolutely everything up and didn't really salvage anything of it. <laughs> they also put up a Hawk site near the vicinity of Sukumi, and along the way they went to check out this supply depot that you guys hit a couple of days ago, I think, and um, they didn't really find anything important. They found a ledger detailing the ins and outs and kind of the weapons traffic, but they didn't find anything interesting on that. Just man pads to the hills and weapons for the sound sites that were there previously. And one of those was the SA-11 site, which you guys degraded to the point where it had to be uh, repurposed for a later day because there wasn't enough stuff to keep it going. Um, today's weather is worse than before. It's rainy. You can expect seven knot winds from the northwest. Clouds at 8,000 and uh, temperature around 10 degrees or so. Uh, blue ground has kind of reached the town of Gali, and before they make their push, they want to clear the northern region there's a river flowing from i think southwest to northeast and to trap the people north of the river they request the blue team to conduct a series of airstrikes bombing the bridges and the bridges have been detailed with coordinates in the campaign strategy channel you can fish the boards out and you can cross-reference those on the map i didn't include pictures of them because they're fairly self-explanatory once you zoom in so bridges uh so what are our active targets then guys we'll have to do it from memory so we've got bridges of which of which we have coordinates for so we can pop them on the map very shortly with this few people we don't want to be diversifying um kestrel blood and i have got our own super secret uber mission to do which okay. we don't want to give too many details away in case there are spies mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and the rest of the mission should be entirely focused on taking out those bridges because when coffee gives us role-playing objectives like this you can bet your bottom dollar we're gonna get fucked in the bum if um we don't do it okay mm -hmm. so let's talk about those bridges how what's the best way of blowing those bridges up then do we think probably with bombs mark a2s cruise missiles bombs right cruise missiles are do it as well Cruise missiles or Mark A2s, but it depends on the range of those cruise missiles because we don't want to be moving that fleet around again. Depending on how big the bridge is, sometimes the uh, rockets from the Vigan work as well, I think. The Zunis? Uh, yeah. The Vigan doesn't so. carry Zunis. Yeah, the effective Zunis, I believe well, they might work. The armor penetrate, could they, you can take armor penetrating rockets um, and they're 135 mil with about 100 kilos of explosives each. So they've got a fair poke to them. Um, I don't know how much damage... They'd probably make them unusable for a day or so, but they wouldn't do significant enough damage to take them out of action. Mm, yeah. Oh, the thing I'm worried about Mark 82's and unguided bombs is we've got wind on today. And yeah, I bet, I bet we're all going to put it in the drink rather than on those bloody yeah. things. If you're flying low enough, you just do standard anti-runway tactics. Don't fly straight down the runway. Fly 20 degrees off axis and then... Drop the stick so that the mm. idea is you will get at least two on target. Mm. 
Um, Harrier straight in at 50 feet with 14 snake eyes on a bridge. Easy peasy. Yeah, mm. maybe not 14 on one bridge. If you're worried about accuracy, then just do standard anti runway tactics. 20 degrees off axis. Job done. Alternatively, if anybody knows how, you could try laser mavericks. I was going to say, what about mavericks? Can we, is, I wonder if we can lock them on. But again, a maverick doesn't have a penetrating warhead. You're not going to do a massive amount of damage to a bridge. You're going to put probably a crater in it, and that'd be about uh, it. One of the mavericks mm -hmm. does have a penetrating warhead, um, or two of them. It's Which got one? A decent punch, but um, yeah, but you need bunker busting levels to get through tarmac and concrete. And most of them I mean, are like they were designed mm. for bridges, I believe. Um, yeah, they were. That, but no, they were. Yeah. You're right, but they were designed for taking out the legs of bridges, not the surface. So, for that to be effective, you'd have to be precise enough with a maverick strike that you'd take out the support rather than the bridge itself. Right. So, onto the next issue. Looking at the sheet, we don't really have much in the way of um, cap other than a couple of Mirage 2000s. Right. Basically, wow. well, two strike aircraft yeah. and everyone else in cap. Yeah. I'm going to be in the Harrier in the mountains today, providing cap. Okay. That that doesn't do cap. Really, really bad idea. Yes, this isn't the Falklands. Okay. Uh, I thought we were going to go ship striking, but oh, the Let's do cap then. Oh, wow. look at that! It's happening. Realistically, you probably need two strike aircraft, um, and if you're going to take a load of snake eyes, then just drop five or six on each um, on each bridge. You only need two decent hits with a Mark 82 to really wreck their day. Roger. So how's Gumbo and Static going to, ignoring enemy fighters, how's Gumbo and Static surviving the man pads and stuff today? What, was th what are you two going to be doing to stay alive? Basically, we go yeah. Yep, I was going to say, that's all you can do, really. It's super low, plenty of flares as you go in, bomb super low, and then exfil super low. Just never go above treetop level, which should be okay. Do we know where these bridges are? I guess the next thing to look at is um, whereabouts these oh, bridges yeah. are. I got Have a, a look in the war room. Stand by. Right, I'm in the war room. Oh, oh, interesting. Right, so, map. that? You've got... Um, yeah, I've got it. Um, high altitude map, uh, a uh -huh. lower altitude map, and then you've got four pictures of each target. Golly. Uh, so they're all along with a couple of miles spacing. We're miles, one mile However, spacing. Yeah, I did that with, um, I, I did that with a, a new map, so I, I have not got a clue what enemy resources are on those bridges. Yeah, they're just pictures of absolutely. the targets themselves. So they're going to be Pancaked with Z Seuss 23s and man pads, I imagine. Yeah, what I did was I, I hacked some kid's drone with a Raspberry Pi mm. um, and I just flew it around taking pictures and then gave him it back and he thought it was just duff batteries in his controller. Well, one thing I noticed is that the bridges are very short, um, so I thought they were going to be, you know, a thousand feet long or something, but they're very short. So, um, yeah, that's no river, that's a stream, mm. really. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that will inconvenience a U.S. built armor, but Soviets will just right. roll straight over. So you want some very tightly grouped bombs then, because we're not spreading it over a thousand feet. Mm. Like you only want them to impact at least 25 feet apart, I think. Right, okay, so the cap then are going to be positioned, I guess, over the sea, and we don't want to be the near, near the mountains, because we get just killed completely. So I guess we want to be out to sea, facing in towards where the bridges are. And um, that's where we're going to be capping it. And if we have to run away for some reason, we can run out to sea and back to our fleet. Welcome to Florida. Hey, Right, let's try to get brakes on. Spool to watch you can hold. Brakes release, full burn. Three, two, one, release. Watch the crosswind. Pushing from left to right. I feel her. Right, Shall we burn all the way there, Cap? Yeah, get up super high though, where we don't burn any gas. Copy, climbing. Such a powerful jet. The bad. Slightly slower. That will be really fun. Uh, the AR 
the other hand, is really going to struggle to keep up with this thing. Uh, at least in terms of acceleration, breaking the deck. So lead every now and then, just quickly turn your runner buzz on or off, off the runners off for like a fraction of a second, and that gives us a little bit of uh, headroom to catch up. Tenders in about to take off. Yeah, 30 is super eco, it's perfect. Copy. Raising the pitch to about 10 degrees on the flight path line. What have uh, there on are you guys on? Heading 220. Copy. Speaking of which, I think we need to move to 190. Stand by, left, roll. Buick, uh, Buick Hammer, come in. Yeah, I'm 
And we're, we're pretty much above you guys, you can take off if you want to head out to sea. Okay, Sherman, we can knock it down. Ah, uh, yes, I have, yeah. We can knock it down to mill power because they're um in uh. I take a delayed. trolley with you though. It's choking down here. Eh? Reducing to four mill now. It's too fast for the rain. Onto it, Soshi. We'll just all be. Just fly in the gaps between the spots. Enfield one one. Overlord. Say again. One two. Onto it, Soshi. We'll all be until they're in the air. Send. Send. Save flight ready for departure. Roger, do you want protection or should we just let you get on with it? Negative, leave us on our own, we know what we're doing. Have fun. Lovely visuals up here. Well, I mean, it's mostly just a cloud layer, but yes. And the two F-15s that are like right on the next to Yeah, I see that. I'm more worried about the uh, slight problem with the spring in my stick. So if I knock it slightly, then my plane will take on a slight left roll. Oh, that would kill me. <laughs> I think I've actually put in, yeah, in fact, I've known for a fact for every we feel like I've put in a curve so you'll survive. Enfield 1-1, one, one. Overlord, Bra, 1-1. One, one, Overnight one, and one, close. At 4,000, flanking. What was that Bra? Did anyone get that, hear that? Scribes, Cap. Okay, let's knock it off into battle formation, guys. No, this is warm. Hey, firm. Alright, in that case, I think we should drop back to Angels 20, who is ridiculously useless at Angels 20. Absolutely, let's go.
three spread out. You're not preparing flying formation at the moment. Sorry about that. Uh, I wish I could interact with this uh, IWR so I could set up priority mode. Uh, I suggest we get back to Sossi Sherman because um, the hostiles will not come out in the open. They'll be coming through the mountains and hitting Sossi or the Harriers. Copy. Turning left back to Sochi. Oh, I've got tally on you guys in front of me. I'll rejoin in a second. Roger, do you want to take a, uh, get with Sherman? You can be a pair and me and Signori will then head off on our own pair. Tender Sherman pair go and look after the Harriers. Signore Cap pair will stay pretty much where we are, which is about 20 miles in advance. Signore, find me. Yeah, I'm with you. Roger, pushing, uh, heading 350 to get ourselves an ideal position to search with contacts coming on to the Harriers. Got me, free fire. Signore, we're going e e ego mode for the time being. We're going ego mode. Overlord, dodge. One, one. Request bogey dope. What's your fuel state like? You still have all three tank? Uh, over 16,000, so I'll try and save a few, as much fuel as I can. Let's ignore it. We've accidentally head over land. I'm turning back out to sea. It does look like we have a couple of um, mirages in low level cover as well. Did you get a bearing, Sherman? Uh, one zero eight for eighty. About the one. Okay, we'll have a peak, peak in a second. What was the range? Eighty miles. Eighty miles. We'll have a peak when we turn back round in uh, five miles. Five miles, sorry. He was at thirty-five k. That's from Sherman's permit position, though, so a bit closer. Okay, we're going to do a left orbit, uh, so you can go and have a look, uh, see if we can find it. Alright, I'm with you. Okay, tender left turn, go. We're going to go and do a 180 turn. Copy. Signore, so break off left a bit and do a bit more scanning to the left. I'm going to scan this direction. We'll meet up shortly. Scan up and down. Turning off. Enfield 1 2, Overlord, Bra 109 480 at 35,000 knots. I wonder if that's their AWACS. Overlord, 
He's not moving though, I and mean, he's not coming towards us or anything. Uh, I, I got him on track while scan cap. For one second that I lost him. Alright, it's not prioritizing. Right. Okay, Auntie is now passing Signore and Cap. Signore and Cap are gonna push uh, east a bit. Okay, Cap's going to point his radar into the mountains just for a few seconds. I've got Auntie on radar. back on east. Signal radio in AWAC school. Overlord, in the field. One, two, request bogey dope. In field, one, two, overlord, clean. Oh, my B-scope is completely clear. They must be all in the mountains. 120 for 50 at 30,000. Yeah, I got it. Enfield 1-1, one, one. Overlord, bra, zero, Yeah, Cap, I've got two contacts, 12 o'clock right now. Cap's got a bearing, 130. Do not be tempted. All right, hold back, hold back. We're nearly in danger close though, bear that in mind. Hostiles less than 40 miles in. How should we do this? Just let's just face them off, face them off. So we're not going to burn in, we're going to slowly go towards them. And if they come and fight us, so be it, but we're just going to push them away. Right. Shem, you can cover our rears. Enfield 1-1, one, one. Overlord, Broad 1-1. Another two coming in hot, 23,000 feet, you see that? Launch warning, Cap, Sam, see ya. SAH, some description. I'm with you, Cap, turning cold. I've got radar contact, Sherman. Tally, one one. Angel two two, third bandit in hot. Care for the SA ten, S three hundred. Miles. 
Ignore it, that's you, I'm dodging missiles. What bearing you want me to turn in, Sherman? Find where static is. SA-10s, guys. Turned on by the SA-10s, but... Okay, tenders hot, crank in left. Show the static pot. Radar contact, Angel 16. Yeah, I've got a guy, Angel 16. Uh, range... 30. Still being launched on. Yeah, I got the missile launch warning. Cold. So, stand up, going cold. Two Fox 3s away. Right. Launch the cap, cap's launching back. Cap's on the code. Got him locked at Mr. Watch warning. He's going out there, he's going to Looks like he's, he's 
Roger. I'm turning around. Cap's gonna chase him up. Signore, I'm with you. Signore, call. Sherman, call. Cap turning hot, low. On him again, preparing to fire. Bearing one to zero, 15 miles. Merge, hey, uh, Harrier. Come back in. Yeah, then come back in. I think we're not like. Captain Fox three and out. I'm out. Cap cold. He's turning cold. He's going cold. He's turning. Yeah, I got one fox running. All right. We don't have the box. Left miles. Left miles. Cap turning hot. Cap up. Lost the, lost the, lost the super. Nine, three, four, four, three. Oh, that might be a spike twenty-nine. Turning back in to introduce myself. Cap on target. It's just the one super, guys. It's just the one super. We can kill this. Just killed Auntie. Cap is going in for the kill. I got one high coming in hot. Probably the distraction. No, there's a two ship out there. Signore, uh, directly on my nose. One three zero. Kill that guy. One three zero. Cap Fox three. That one last. Alright, let's see. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, you go left. I'll go right. I'm already short shot. I got the defense. Roger, I'm still going. Cap splash, cap splash. Negative, negative, negative. Field 1-1, Overlord, Bra, 1-3-5-4-6, at 4,500, flanking. Oh, he fucked, he went down. Into the cross. Yeah, he's Yes, Cap's chasing the one away. Five miles. Got a home on jam locked in. Cap, Fox 3. Lost the bandit. Right, 10 cold. Cap cold. Cap merge! Dog fight! Burning to you as you got 700 knots on the deck. Copy, turning back. Cap safe, question mark.
Good day for that, Chairman. Hello, welcome back. So, Hammer, uh, who was that? Was that us? Uh, do you want to debrief us, Sherman? Uh, well, let's see. We did our best to try and provide bike up over the area, but we just uh, couldn't actively engage the enemy targets without putting ourselves at risk by going low. And we kept on being forced back by that SA-10 site. So the only one who was yeah. actually able to get in there with the um, SUs was uh, Cap. It was recently couldn't uh, do anything up at high altitude, and if we stuck at low altitude, then they were just going to come in from on high and destroy us. Three or fifteens, which is I think it's the highest loss. No, it isn't the highest loss, but it's pretty bad. Uh, that sucks. Uh, what about Buick? Did any bombs on target? We got bombs off, uh, but I missed. I didn't get anywhere near the target, kept getting Damn. shot down. Okay. Yeah. I could stay there for a little while, but I was surrounded Sam's near enough Sam's by... The Sam's further south kept spiking, and then 29s came in. So it's it's really difficult to well, see in that weather okay. as well. Okay. Um, next group, I can't remember who it was. Was it the Viggins? Uh, Viggins. Oh, we didn't yeah. see you for the whole um, match. I don't know where you we... were. Uh, they were another mission. Yeah, we went off and were doing our own thing, something we'd actually rehearsed. Um, and Blood got unlucky and got man padded um, on a blind corner. I dodged a missile, and when I looked straight after dodging a missile, I flew into an mm -hmm. electricity pylon. Um, and Kestrel got pounced was, by uh, very, Oh, it was so, Dateline. I was going to say it was very well spotted, but okay. Oh yeah. yeah, I would not have seen him. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just fucking stupid how powerful that is. Uh, it's just oh, it, it takes it back to your earlier point as well, Gen P-Man, that if we'd stayed in Gen 3, that wouldn't have been a thing, but like you say. Well, I'm done with it now. Gen well, 3 was I'm, a I'm, lot more interesting. I'm, I'm, 
I'm not going to do any more of this. I'm bored with it now. I'm done okay, with it. Okay, and Reds, uh, I think Reds did very... Did we, really, did we even shoot Reds down? How did the Reds get on? What did you guys get up to? We knew we were undermanned, so we set out in singles. We, uh, Merlin gave us anchor points and started calling us in when it was needed. And ultimately, uh, I don't think any red people okay, got shot down. It was a very effective red chainsaw. As soon as I was in there, when one was coming, if someone was always heading towards me, basically, it was very frustrating. But, yep, okay, fair enough. Anyone else before we... Not much, really. There's not much we could do unless we knock out that SA-10 in terms of yeah. the app. I, don't yeah, we were... I genuinely don't even think that would help. Here's the thing. The only thing that stopped me from getting into the fight and control taking uh, control of the higher air corridor was that SA-10. I agree. We were being pushed back really far from it. Sure. Couldn't I, mean, do I, was... I have a question. So you, you guys have long-range anti-rad sitting in Godata. We've got 20, 20 kilometer anti-rads, and only four of them, which we can't guarantee protection because the cap can't protect them. They have about 30 kilometer range, and you have four aircraft with 30 missiles in reserves. If you zip down low enough on the ground on your side of the turf, you can get low, uh, close enough to get that out. Which one is that? Is that the one that's near the coast? Good also has four SU-35 T's. Well, how did Harriers get shot at by the SO-10? I found with my F-15 when I was on the deck uh, this kind of second time round, I actually felt pretty safe in the SO-10. It couldn't fire at me. It wasn't the SO-10s that were shooting them. No, it's the... the F-27s were getting us. Yeah, we got now we got spiked by it, but um, mm. they didn't shoot on us, I don't think. Ooh. I was under so, under shot, but because I was getting uh, warnings from... The bra that I was something 10 miles away from me, I couldn't concentrate on hitting the bridge. Of course, the, the Harrier hasn't got any waypoint system yet, so it's all visual. And when you're 50 feet off the deck trying to look for a bridge in the middle of trees, got no hope really. Mm. Uh, today, today would have been a reasonable day for the F 18 because they can do very fast attacks on mm, coordinates. No, they did just they did just got shot down by the issue twenty seven. Same problem applies, honestly. We had a we did have a window for a few minutes. I mean, I stayed over the uh, the bridge I was trying to get. I stayed over there for a good few minutes until I got shot down. Yeah, it's it was very short. Trying to work out where the window is. The only window yeah. is when the we can make that window refueling. No, yeah, you can so make that window. Can you can make a massive fight with well, the fifteen when no nothing else is in the air. And that will force uh, the Red Four to go and refuel after that, and that's your window made, isn't it? Again, it's trying to work out when that gap is, but yeah, you can't be right. If you did force the gap by throwing a load of F-15s in there, you got a chance. I mean, that was certainly the intent. There was a reason that those two of the three F-15s lost today were lost due to a lack of fuel. Mm. Yes. Two F-15s were running out of fuel? Yeah, I, um, I lost situational awareness. Oh. awareness and I thought um, I was heading north, so I headed north um, back to Data, but it turns out I was actually heading towards, um, towards, um, so you were heading inland. So yeah. You were heading inland. Yeah. Not just the coast. The Data was 270, um, and I was heading directly north. Well, yeah. I was juggling between. I was juggling between trying to determine whether whoever had fired on me um, was still chasing me, and whether or not I had enough fuel to get back. And unfortunately, I got the equation just wrong, and I had to try and uh, make an emergency landing a few miles away. And unfortunately, unlike the runway, there are telephone. Sorry, there are uh, road lights alongside. The reason we lost was because the F-15s are out to sea going and turning around and uh, getting shot by SA-10s and the Harriers and the uh, M2000s were left to face the flankers on their own and a bunch of SAMs as well but none of the ground uh, low level ground SAMs fired at us we just got shot by flankers we, we need a DCI I know Marvelo had some issues this evening but you have a DCI it means you can coordinate this stuff a lot better I mean there's not a lot fewer people showing up now it's kind of yeah, regarding the so, thing I kind of want to touch on yeah. the last few days have been disastrous there's no way around it and yeah. it's very obvious it's eaten 
the blue morale to the point where not many people even want to join anymore. Would it be out of the realm of consideration to end the campaign in blue uh, concede? I'm not, I'm not flying in it anymore. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not flying in it anymore. I'm done with it. So, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm not going to do any more of it. The problem is it's 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 a really good idea. It just doesn't work very well in DCS. Uh, it's, it's, no, uh, I working. think it's, we we fly these. This uh, came off. I presume that this came off the back of the idea that I was talking to you about the the sort of campaigns that I fly before. The difference is that they're staged in in singular missions. They're a campaign over four, three or four days. But you don't go and set a massive SAM net with radars everywhere across the whole map. Mm. The, the, but, so it's not the map that's the challenge. The challenge is the fact that most of Blue Four don't know what they're doing in a. They, they can see us. They can. They they can see us. They know where we're coming, and they've got a GCI. Yeah, that is what the, the data is. We know where, and they also knew where we were attacking today as well. What's the point of having a bloody war room where we discuss everything, and then tell them where I, we're going? I don't to think they knew where you. I mean, Coffee did obviously know, but I don't Which, think that ended. Coffee gave happening. us the coordinates for the bridge. Yeah, 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 but Coffee's been pretty damn good at telling us you well, can hey, bomb this, but today not. We knew, all right, so Acting today we knew. So the day we knew that you were coming for the bridges. But in reality, that doesn't make any difference because the bridges are right at the front line, which is covered by uh, patrol routes anyway. Yeah, you guys had done exactly the same, yeah, exactly the same thing Harry. all the previous yeah. days. So we knew you were going to go for the bridges, but didn't change our planning at all. It's just hard to do cap when we can't actually get into the right areas because it's all mountainous and we're just going to get shot right so i think unless unless we take the f-15s into the mountains we're shot by sounds just just a bigger threat so well, the, the campaign is an excellent idea but it is fundamentally very very difficult you've got coffees excellently put together sam net atop that you've got red four who are extremely good at what they do and can put a pretty competent cap net together and that's combined with blue who most of uh, most of us are pretty good individual pilots when it comes to working as a flight and then working as multiple flights we have issues and i feel like this campaign was a bit too much of a step up perhaps we need something similar to it but a bit more of a level down something that we can come up with good tactics we can practice our coordination and then i truly hope we can return to this campaign or a similar one and be far more effective and have it be far I, more interesting. I think if you dump the SA tens, to be honest, you're talking something's a bit more manageable. At the moment, you're better off just abandoning it for a while because mm. most people, and well, uh, uh, certainly me, I've got no enthusiasm for doing another one now. Yeah, I, I understand that. Obviously, there just... will be enough time between this and the next campaign that we'll only start the next one after Blue has got their mojo back and they've actually. Yeah done some training on flying as a team. Cap, I know this is a very popular series on YouTube, but it's hurting the internal structure of Grim Reapers. Should we consider Yep, dropping so well, I'll tell you my, my uh, personal opinion and then my professional opinion. My first oh. opinion, personal opinion is um, I hated the campaign when it came out because I don't like change and it's, it was a pain I only asked to film. But then I learned to love it after a few... Um, uh, after a few days when I under started to understand what it was all about how each flight uh, how each day um, affects the next one and suddenly it became really really addictive and now I kind of plan in my head what I'm going to do the, the day before kind of thing and I think a lot of people are doing it uh, so I really really like it however uh, and I don't get frustrated because I'm so used to losing in my life that I don't care I enjoy, I enjoy losing um, but I understand that a lot of people don't enjoy losing and so we've got to obviously factor that in so I'm perfectly happy to I just follow you guys at the end of the day so if we want to scrap the campaign I'm gutted but perfectly happy to do it if that's what we need to do and make a, a kind of dumbed down easier version with easier sounds or whatever the problem is perfectly happy to do what you guys want basically so sadly it looks like we've got no choice but to terminate the campaign which is it sucks but what are you going to do uh, so I thought we'd do a quick review. This picture here is as the campaign was on day one. Um, it's a massive map, so that's like 200, and, I don't know, 20 miles or, or more from from the easternmost um, 
red unit to the westmost about and on day 12 the uh, area had been taken over by blues so that's as far as we got uh, i'm not sure what's going to happen next but we'll keep you informed and we'll see you later